standard round, which was specifically enacted in 2005 to extend past defending yourself and your home, you know, the old castle doctrine. Um, it basically says if you are somewhere that you have a lawful right to be, you can meet force with force to defend yourself. It's no different is if I was standing out in the street and someone was trying to rob me, whether I pull out a gun and defend myself with a gun or if I have a trained dog to defend me. There's really no difference. It's just a, a, a different tool. That's all it is. The, the point is, is that the statute doesn't allow for that type of defense and stand your ground does. So those two statutes are, are in conflict with each other, which makes it unconstitutional. Just like the statute of the, the basic tort law, dog bite 76704, it's in conflict with 76713 as well. Under the tort law, provocation is a defense, but under this uh, one, the county union, it's not. So can't, can't, statutes can't be in conflict with each other. They've been on a walk five months. I would never guess in a million years what has transpired in the last five months with this dog. Our lives changed in an instant. Patty's home under house arrest. He, uh, he, he's doing pretty well though. He's oblivious. This law is not for a, a, a dog that you know nips someone's ear and you know maybe trims a little bit off the top of their ear. So I'm hoping to get to the end of this so I can slip back to the obscurity that we used to live in here. Not a publicity seeking person, but but the public's outcry has been instrumental in, in Patty's defense and uh, causing you know attention to be brought to both the statutes and the individual cases. And uh, at Manatee County, we hope is uh, is taking note of this and, and can help other people in the same situation.